Hey, what's up? Happy Saturday, everybody. This is Casey the Rockstar Flipper. It is uh, July 30th, 2016, and it's only mid-afternoon Saturday. It's about 2 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to get this video up in the next hour because uh, at 3.30 we're headed from where we live in Tampa out to Orlando, which is about an hour drive, almost uh, to Disney World. Uh, actually, it's an exit past Disney World. We are going to... Uh, one of those escape rooms. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but you get locked in a room and you got to solve puzzles and you got to try to get out. So we're headed out there. We're going to be out really late tonight. We're going for dinner and to hang out and probably hang out at Dave and Buster's and get some drinks and do that sort of thing. So we won't be home uh, probably till after midnight or one. I want to get a video up for you guys today. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's going to have a couple different parts to it. And then the next video will be up tomorrow on Sunday. So that's our plans for today. All right, so I get uh, a lot of questions about our storage and how we are able to pull items quickly in the morning when we have 50, 60 orders. Um, and one of the ways that we store, I wanna show you guys, is um, neckties. So we have a couple racks. I've recreated our office here at home uh, because we don't really store ties here at home. I have these that I just bought not too long ago. Um, but we basically just have a hanging rack and like the straight white pole that you see right there. And then we hang them and we have each rack is by color. So when a tie sells, you can easily go to the red rack and pull the tie that you need off and then ship it. It's very, very quick. We have about six racks. We have red and blue and yellow, uh, not too many yellow. So like yellow, orange is combined, green and purple are combined. The black and white racks are pretty much single color and then red's a single color. And then we got like the oddball one. We also, we still have a few of these. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, give me just a second here. So we have this thing where we used to hang, but they kind of cover each other. So we don't really use those too much anymore. Um, that was kind of our old school storage. I'm just gonna hang this back up in the closet because we don't really use these too much. We have a few of them, but uh, they usually just are kind of like a holding thing when they're being listed. Um, so yeah, so this is how we store ties when we are at the office by racks. We got like six of them. We just hung them on the wall, like two, one high, one low, one high, one low, one high, one low. And that's how simple it is to hang ties. Sort them by color. Trust me, not by brand, because there's too many brands. The colors are easiest. When you sell a tie, you immediately know, hey, we sold that yellow Christian Dior. Bang, go right over to the yellow one. You can find it really quickly. So that's how I recommend sorting your neckties if you've got a lot. We have probably about 500 ties active. So that's easily the best way to do it. Check this out, guys. I told you, pick up the hot things. This was at a yard sale this morning. I just stopped at one. I was busy this morning. Didn't really go to too many. But... Two bucks, two dollars, and I already listed. I took photos of my phone, I put it up. It's listed for $19.99. I've already had an offer for $15. I'm gonna let it sit for a day or two and see if I get the full price for it, but two dollars, and I guarantee we'll get 15 or more out of it. So make sure everything that's hot at the time, Pokemon is hot, grab it up. Speaking of the uh, questions that we get, a lot of the questions that we get are about the envelopes that we buy, our packing envelopes for all of our first class. So. We basically buy a couple different sizes, but these are um, our first class padded shipping mailers. These are size number one. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and they're by uh, Pregis, but we get them off eBay. We just buy them in quantities. You can see, compared to my head, about how big they are. Um, and these are like quantity 500 for around 80 or 90 bucks. They're about 16 to 18 cents a piece. Um, so those are padded. We use those for things that we sell like should we sell like a little iPod touch or something? We'll put a little bubble wrap around it, stick it in the padded, it's good to go. Never had one break. Um, so that's one thing that we use. And then for clothing that doesn't need any kind of protection, just the standard poly mailers. Um, standard, they just open up, you can see. And they're a little bigger than the bubbles. I'll show you how much bigger they are. Here, see if I can hold these up for you guys. So they're a little bit bigger than the bubble mailers. They're actually quite a bit bigger than the bubble mailers. But those will work, oh, what's going on with that? Uh, those will work for all of your clothing just about. If you have bigger items that weigh more than a pound, you're gonna have to use padded flat rates or bigger, bigger mailers if they qualify for first class. Usually items that are bigger like jeans or jackets or coats won't go first class anyway, so it's best to use padded flat or priority mailing boxes. But other than that, uh, pretty much what we use. Uh, we get them right off eBay. Uh, the poly mailers are 30, $30 for 500, I believe and the padded mailers are like 80 to 90 dollars for 500 depending on who i catch with them for sale um so just search around just do a buy it now buy cheapest quantity 500 or quantity 100 however much you're selling you know what kind of quantities you need so that's the best way to find them 
Hey, what's everybody? It's Casey the Rockstar Flipper. I'm back for the second half of this video, and we're going to focus on um, workout clothes and yoga pants and everything to do with clothing that is for people that are healthy and staying fit. Uh, you wouldn't believe how many pairs of yoga pants, workout, dry fit shirts that we sell here that we pick up for 50 cents or a dollar or two dollars and how well they sell. Um, you can probably see on my screen right now, I just did a search for um, Under Armour Dry Fit and Under Armour is a super good brand. This is used, of course, and you can see some of these shirts here. Uh, just a regular dry fit shirt sold for seven dollars plus like this one was four dollars shipping, so they got eleven. Um, Ten under armor dry fits 150 and they took a best offer so they got 15 a piece call it maybe 12 a piece after their best offer uh, here's a lot of 17 large extra large and double extra large dry fit shirts for $70 so these are really popular um, some of them are cheaper um, here's an under armor boys hoodie $35 so under armor is a really good brand um, these are just golf shorts from under armor 20 bucks uh, $24 for uh, dry fit golf shorts. So these are things that you should look for when you're out at the bins or out at uh, Goodwill or Salvation Armies and even, uh, you know, uh, usually in better neighborhoods, but workout um, clothing. Here's a little boy's 4T workout pants and shirt sold for $10 plus shipping. Let's see what they got for shipping on this. Uh, looks like they got $3. So they got $12 for that little outfit for a little boy. So you can see, look, this Under Armour polo, stripe polo, $28, best offer accepted. It was $32, they took $28, and they gave free shipping. So Under Armour, really, really good. Anything yoga pants, these Lululemon black and purple uh, yoga pants, $27 plus shipping. Lululemon yoga pants are amazing. I've sold a pair of them. I got $19.99 out of mine. 15 Old Navy don't sell as well. Victoria's Secret and Lululemon are the two brands you really want to look for on the yoga. They're anywhere from 19, 15, 19 on up to, you can see 40 here, you can see 50, you can see 30, 40. Really, really look for those brands. They're super popular and they're super expensive. Um, and then anything Nike running, dry fit running, uh, dry fit shorts, uh, pull away workout pants, the shorts there, $10 for a pair of shorts, $25 for a set of workout clothes. Um, you can see the jacket for 20 with best offer. Uh, you can see this stuff, 10 bucks for a pair of shorts, 15 for pull away pants, the zip up pants there. So anything workout, yoga, running, dry fit, always look for that stuff. It will always sell good, especially those brands, Nike, Under Armour, Victoria's Secret, and Lululemon for women. Those are just phenomenal brands that super, super, super sell good and they sell fast and they sell for a good price, especially when you're getting them cheap. So just something quick for you guys to look for. Um, I'm going to get this video up. We got to get on the road to Orlando. Like I told you, sorry to cut it short, but we'll get you another video tomorrow. But I'm going to video our night tonight in Orlando at the escape room. It's going to be super fun. And I'm going to put it on my personal YouTube channel, our vlog channel. We don't post a lot on there, but we do post some of our nights out. Uh, if you guys want to check any of what we do outside of workout, you can check on our YouTube channel on the other one. It's called One Life in Paris, and I will put a link to it down in the description. Please check that out. I really appreciate it if you do. Um, it's just what we like to do outside of this reselling thing. It's our full-time job and business. You guys know that, but sometimes we do like to get out and have a little fun. So if you want to check that out, the link will be down there for you guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and share it with your friends or family. As always, thanks for subscribing and checking out our channel. We really, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Get out there and do something fun, and we will see you again tomorrow.